Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I have a haul to share with you. These are items I've picked up over the last three months. I'm gonna start off with Walmart. I have these nighttime soothing makeup remover towelettes. I think these were around three or four dollars. Big container though, 40 pre-moistened towelettes to use to remove your makeup. I've used three of these so far. They're, they're pretty good. I don't see any difference between these. And this is the Equate Makeup Remover Towelettes, just the plain ones. They compare to Neutrogena. I've tried the Neutrogena and these like kind of side by side and they're pretty good. I like the Neutrogena a little bit better. But uh, comparing these to the other ones I just showed you, I don't really see that big of a difference. But I'm going to continue to use them, kind of test them out. And then Walmart, another item I picked up, this is the Aussie Three Minute Miracle in the Moist formula. I've tried the Strong, and then I've also tried the Smooth. I think the Smooth is my least favorite, then the Strong, and then I really, really am liking the Moist. I got a two pack of these for $6, I believe, or $5.98 or something like that. So I've really been enjoying that for eight fluid ounce for two containers. So you're getting 16 fluid ounces for like six bucks, which is really good. And then the last item is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I know a lot of people have been talking about this and for good reason, this is the light bronzer not the other, this is like the lightest one you can get. It smells like kind of coconuts, a uh, little bit maybe hint of like pina colada kind of a scent, but I also smell something that's really fresh too at the same time. It's not like super super sugary sweet to me. But uh, I really like this bronzer a lot. I've been wearing it almost every day since I've purchased it. It's very soft, it's very buttery, and it's subtle. For me, with bronzer, I don't want a ton of bronzer all over my face. <laughs> I just want it to be subtle, nice, and soft. I can blend it in with my blush, and this achieves that. I'm super happy, super. I'm super happy that I purchased this. I think it's a really nice product. It's a little on the expensive side, though. I know I've talked recently about how Physicians Formula is a little bit expensive for a drugstore, but I think if you can go to like CVS and get one of like extra bucks or a coupon or something like that, you could probably get a good deal. I think I purchased this for like $13, which shame on me. <laughs> no, it's really good. I'm happy that I have it in my collection. I just wish I got a coupon on it. Okay, I purchased a couple of things from a blog sale. Oh wait, last thing from Walmart I picked up are the e.l.f. Shine Eraser Blotting Sheets. 30 of these, I think for like a dollar. So that's a really good deal. Or three dollars. A dollar or three dollars. I don't know which one. And then one of my friends had a blog sale and I purchased a couple of items from her and she also gifted me a couple. These are the Sony Kashuk eye brushes that I picked up. Josie Marin Argan Matchmaker Powder Foundation, she gave this to me. And I haven't decided whether or not I wanna use it or gift it to my sister, but it's like this deeper color. Maybe it might work out for the summertime, but my sister's a little bit darker than me, so uh, I was thinking maybe she could use it. I haven't decided yet, I still have the box on that, so I haven't decided whether or not I wanna send that to Kate. And then I'm wearing this today, it's the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream, CC Plus, and it has SPF 50. I love that it has SPF 50 in it. Even though my skin is a little bit sensitive with SPF, I've been mixing this in with one of my Project Pan items, the Chanel foundation that I'm trying to use up, and I feel like it's a pretty good color match for right now, but then I get the SPF from this. So I've been enjoying this a lot. I picked up two lipsticks. These are the NARS Audacious. NARS Audacious Lipsticks in Anna and Anita, and I will swatch them for you so you can see the colors. This is Anna, and then this is Anita. And you can kind of see the differences here. Anna's on the top, and Anita's on the bottom. I really like the colors, they're very opaque, and it's just fun to try something new. I hadn't tried the NARS Audacious lipsticks yet, so it was fun to try those, as, try those out and test those out. And then one of my friends, Crystal, Crystal Lynn from here on YouTube, sent me a couple items for my birthday, and I don't have all of them here, but I'll show you a couple that I picked out of my collection. Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is the Starlight Illuminator, and it's a really pretty highlight. I don't have anything like this in my collection. It kind of, it has like this really neat iridescence to it with a hint of pink, like very, very subtle. And it's very beautiful. I've been enjoying that so much. And then she gave me two color pop tattoos. I have this one open because I've heard that if you open too many of the color pop tattoos at once, they could dry out. So 
I wanted to kind of do one at a time, and this is the color in Daddy, and I've been having fun with this. So that was a gift from Crystal. She also gave me some lipsticks, but I don't have them in front of me. And then another one of my friends sent me this. I know this is kind of, I should have planned this better. I just kind of grabbed what I remembered getting and what I remembered purchasing and put it in a box in front of me. <laughs> And then a friend gave me this, the Stilo eyeshadow from Chanel in 107, and it's a purple eyeshadow, and I really, it's a cream stick, I really like these. I also have Laurier Rose, and I think that's a beautiful color for the Stilo eyeshadow stick. It almost has like a cooling feel to it, and these last quite a while if I wear an eyeshadow primer underneath, and how I've been enjoying wearing this is the purple all over my lid, and then my Pan That Palette, that flaky shade that I was debating on decluttering, I just put a fluffy like eye brush and then dust it all over to kind of set this, and it turns out to be a very pretty cool toned light lavender purple color, really been enjoying that. And then another item that I purchased, I actually picked this up at TJ Maxx, it's Clinique. I picked it up on TJ Maxx on sale and then I had a gift card. So I used that and it ended up being like six or seven dollars for this set. So it came in a little bag and it had this Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector and this is I think a, a full ounce and then it had two little samples. I think I'm going to use this SPF 20. It's the even better skin tone correcting SPF 20 sample. And then this I think I'll probably like give to a friend or gift it somehow. It's Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream Rinse Off Formula. So that's what I've picked up in the last three months. I'd love to hear what you've picked up or if you're on a no buy or a low buy, let me know down below in the comments. I think I did pretty well. I, I haven't really been splurging too much. Uh, but I did get that bronzer. I would say this is probably the biggest splurge for me. I got a really good deal on the items I purchased from one of my friends from the blog sale, so I felt like that was reasonable. I think probably the one item that was kind of a splurge would be this bronzer, but I'm really happy with it and I'm really enjoying it, and I used it consecutively just to test uh, do I like this product. Using it every single day has helped me when I've purchased something to start using it daily, uh, so that I know if I want to return it has been really, really helpful for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time, and have a wonderful day. Bye.